we got ourselves Kragar coming back to the duels for the last duels of 9-0. Together with, we got ourselves Kata. We got ourselves the boy Tretti. Yo, the feral droid we got. What's his name? Mod Zest X. Mad Jest. Mad Jest? Is that what it is? And Neofit. Neofit. Versus Antu as Kragar rolling in. Not even giving the Paladin even a chance. The Pally. Looking like they're having a birthday or something. Big blind hurts to uh, Kragar. Action does it through 60. Trying to go for the most holy damage on Kragar. Does he get the big hit? He's going to go for a hot to follow. Kragar could go for a defensive here. That is going to be in Rage Return. Does he still go down? He does survive the burst of the Paladin. If only the Paladin had one more global, one more final verdict to drop down on Kragar. He would have been in an absolutely fantastic situation. I don't know if Anter is playing Seraphim for this go. But Cracker had to commit a rallying cry before a stun, which was really well done. He used it while he's uh, while he's going from between a blind to a stun. He rally cried to try to see if he could survive, and then he had to burn that enraged regeneration because that was just a ton of damage with the back to back CC by Antrim. But it looks like the paladin getting hit with the disarm as long as he doesn't get interrupted and holy, he might be okay. Bubble does get taken out early. It's gonna be shattered throw regeneration. Not gonna be able to catch him back up. Oh no, Antrim forced to go for Ward of Glories. It looks like Ward of Glories are gonna keep him alive. The Ward of Glory healing in nine one is getting nerfed. That is something as a paladin you guys should remember. It is getting our big spear onto answer can't go nowhere i think the executes come down or maybe the spear just ticks out a cracker who's done with all these paladins it is way over it is over these paladinas gonna be francesca left the fifth person on team two francuska is the russian word but i want to say francesca just because it's francesca sounds so weird it's like su super russian in there super slavic I feel like it just doesn't translate. It doesn't English English fight very well. French Francesca going for big damage though. Blind onto Cracker, no way out of it unless he chose to drink it. But it looks like Francesca does not have the biggest holy power burst like Anton was able to bring. Either way, Cracker is going to peel back for a second. That is the shield of vengeance rolling a paladin with full wings blaring to go. Cracker does not want to break it too early. He does have an original generation. Does not hold out to trick it. Doesn't want to break that shield at all. Waited out for it patiently. Needs to recover in health. There goes the enraged regen. Could be maybe. I was thinking Francesca. Hey, there goes Bop. Uh, Francesca. I was thinking he could just bubble or bop it. And there goes the Bob. Try to see if he can cheese it. Cracker leaps away, going for first aid immediately. Try not to fall behind on health. Is going to try to see if he can get a charge. As Francesca going off the bridge. Majestic. Majestic. That's the rogue's name. It is Majestic. How could I not know the. Dude, I could have just read it as it was. I don't know why I broke it apart. I was like, the rogue is like, Mad. Jest. X, but it's actually maj majestic. It's actually majestic. It's actually pretty close. <laughs> it's actually so good. <laughs> Wait, that's actually good. Bubble out of Francesca does not have wings to follow up here. That's going to be a very defensive play. It's going to get a hard to Kragger. Will not be able to even go for a lockdown on him. And Kragger is going to have to mount back up. Francesca is actually recouping even a blessing of protection. This game has been going so long. This pally has been kiting. Between hand of hindrance, Hodges and blinds, and shield avengers that kind of forces Kragger to just peel away. He has been able to keep the uh, warrior at bay. Warrior does have everything defensively except for a trinket. Shield avengers popping, and Kragger looking healthy afterwards. Blaze sword to follow. Francesca building up to holy power. Gonna be reflect off by Kragar. Francesca is gonna reflect summoning back to himself. Not a hammer of justice though. So he's actually a good go. That's gonna be a trinket getting used. Is that a battle master trinket or is that an offensive trinket? Kragger is gonna be popping a trinket of his own. I think he's expecting for Francesca to go for some damage of his own. So maybe he's popping a battle master trinket early. Try to leap around the corner. Does not get the pummel. But also did not use the pummel. Gonna be a big old charge out of there for Francesca and Kragger having to chase after the pally, not having the back to back leaps. I do wonder what kind of legendary Kragger is rolling with at this point. Reflect up in case it's a Hodge, blessing of protection up for Francesca. Does Kragger go for a shattering? He can't. Could go for enraged regeneration. Might have to. It's gonna be his. Ignore pain up and running. Try to see if he could hold on to enraged regeneration for later. He knows the pally has a bubble at this point. Trink it out of Francesca on that beer. And at this point, he has a trinket synced up to the fear pretty well. Blind into Kragger. A defensive blind while Francesca, I believe, had a full wings. That was a full set of wings. So unless I have a proc set of wings coming up very soon, they might not be able to do much. I think they're going to be on defensive for a little bit longer. Bubble is there. Shield of Vengeance is there to maybe splash back damage to Kragar. But do they have the damage? 
That is my real question is do they actually have any kind of damage? Hand of freedom up for Francesca trying to get away from Kragger who got raging blows to keep him moving charge using as much mobility as he can to stay on top of the pallet with that hit or hit or hits. those raging blows are doing work is getting him mobile to the pallet try to see if he can stay on him with a blade storm does break to chill the vengeance the pal the warrior is not scared of anything the pally throws at him big old disarm available reflect up as well that's a hodge reflect the back of Francesca with an immediate bubble shatter and throw and unless he doesn't have any ways out hand of freedom is rolling he almost got speared up by the spear of bastard if Kragor only would have nabbed him in that thing i wonder if hand of freedom actually keeps immune from it does hand of freedom keep you immune from that bastard spear big wreck of francesca unless they have some in here i think they're in a cage with a beast and Kragor just needs a few more globals to end the dude if he had that rage and blow mortal strike effect a year ago he actually would have been golden dude oh my god they had the hand of hindrance and the hand of freedom with the pony oh my god in the next patch the pallet would have died a year ago i feel like <laughs> oh my goodness dude what is the pally doing i have no idea travi he's living like he's surviving he's doing everything he can to live i don't think what's he gonna wait for shield of is up in 12 seconds but i don't think he's gonna be able to nab it and that's gonna be a blind onto cracker who literally triggered that blind just to end the duel with Mamaka as a survival hunter up now. Also, same weapon as Francesca did. Look at that sword. That's, that has to be Wad or something. That has to be Wad. I think that's Wad. It's going to be Mamaka trying to make some damage happen. The spear keeping him in place. Trying to see if he can bust out of it. Is going to ha feign death for a minute. Activating his hunter legendary to break out of that spear. Kragar getting hit with a steel trap. Could be a freezing trap after. Does he have reflect? He does have it up. Mamaka could throw down a freezing trap if he wants to. Kraken tried to see if he can get himself a little bit of a heal. Needs to use a rage regeneration here at the right time against the hunter. I think he almost needs to bait out a freezing trap. So basically, don't use CDs until you need to. There it goes. There goes a massive heal turtle shell. Might come out of Mamaka. Unless he can just get executed. Unless the Kraken just steals and execute away. With actually no CDs left, it's going to charge into the bed immediately. Try to see if he can get a victor rush off of it immediately. That's going to be a full succubus CC with a Kesbo. Mortal Coil right after. Going to lock down the warrior for a second with a stun and the Cataclysm to follow. I don't know if Kraken will have much left here. He does have Battlemaster's Trinket. If we can just catch up to Kreisberg, he might be okay. He does go for a Sippy Cup. It's going to give him some healing. But the 38% dampening, whoa, there's so much you can do about it. So all right available. That's going to be Fear. Could Zerker Rage out of it? Unless he doesn't have Zerker Rage and it doesn't look like he does. Does have Rallying Cry at the worst. The Rallying Cry, Battlemaster Chicken is going to fall off at some point. So Kraken put himself in a situation where he's borrowing a lot of health. But you have the Battlemaster Chicken and Rallying Cry. He's put himself in a situation where he's just too much in debt. And down he goes with Kreisbad. Taking only a few globals to take him out. Kata is up next. Is that a balance to it again? Yo, Catalysator, dude. Every time you play, this is a boomy every single time, dude. He's a boomy every single time. Big drain off for Kreisbad. Is Kata looking to get himself a bit of a reheal? Trying to go for whatever Instacast has got going on. I think at a prox or he's playing Warrior Valoon. Hard to tell. I don't know how boomies are going to be with Venthyr play stuff. Because a lot of boomies are going PvE Venthyr. Going to be Kata going in for full damage. Has himself full. Fury Valoon ready to go. Playing that Kyrian. Boomy. So this man is already playing the off meta stuff. Going to be a trinket. As Christman sees the trinket, he ports out immediately. Trying to get himself a better position. That Kyrian set up with the Fury of Valoon. Slush alignment actually did quite a bit of damage. If Christman has any dots... He should be melting. I think the dots mostly fell off though. As Kata having to tussle with the pet. As long as he's in a form, the pet should not be able to get any kind of seduction on him. As long as you're in a cat form, bear form, boomy form, you are immune to CC. Which I would imagine Christbit would want to swap out pets, but he's keeping that succubus maybe for that slow. And Kata got himself a reset. A succubus doesn't really have anything that you can do here versus Catalysator. At some point back at the Cataclysm and maybe previous expansions, it did have a knockback effect. It was trying to see if he can swap out a fellow hunter or Kata. Bashing it! Letting the Succubus do his thing. Suck! Oh my god, he actually didn't pop into movie from fast enough. It does get hit for the seduction. Barskin at this burst out of Christ battle with a full cancelled Cataclysm. Fear to combo off it with a couple of incinerates to send right after. And Chrysler does have a Mortal Coil, locking down Kata, and that's going to be a fell Dom to swap out the pet, so now he can get a kick interrupt and remove beneficial buffs from Kata. Kata goes in for a bear charge, trying to see if he can root Chrysler down. He does have a gateway out of it to break him out of roots, trying to go for a fear onto Kata, dipping behind the pillow for a just exchange of dots, going for a regrowth, trying not to get interrupted by the Warlock. Drain life is up. 
for Chrysbet, recovering quite a bit of health. And I believe Chrysbet is already cracked himself a the train soul legendary for all we know. So he probably already has it in play. Kata trying to see if he might be able to sneak around the corner. Get himself a couple blasts onto Chrysbet. That's gonna be one blast into Chrysbet's face. With a couple of those uh with a couple of those star surges. And Chrysbet looking to catch up to Kata. Does hit him with a mortal coil. Fear, but it's going to get silenced on Shadow. Chrysbet, not a lot of health reel left. If Kata has another go with a Fury of a Loon Kirin combo, that just by itself, that beam from the sky might be enough as long as Chrysbet doesn't have a mortal coil. And it does look like he does. I don't know if we're Battlemaster Chicken or Hellstone. But Kata could end it here. He's being very, very careful. Waddle it to Kata. Waddle it to Chrysbet. Waddle available does roar. Does he want to start search taking out the Warlock? With Krom as the next one left. A last one on team two. After Kragger has demolished that team. Mostly playing against the Pallies. Gonna be a trinket for Catalyzator. Try to see if he can bow out of there. With the oh, Dorish out of sight against up for Krom. Also playing up the Fury Warrior build. I like it. I like the Fury Warrior play. But it looks like Kata does dip away in the stealth. Does he get to go with another Kyrian setup? Does he get to play it again? I never see Kyrian boomies ever. And I really like what Kata got going on. He's getting dots up and running, making sure the Krom is completely done enough. It's gonna go for the full Kyrian setup. Bash is gonna force the chicken out of the warrior, pop in every single defense. We'll try to get aggressive here as well. As Kata just blasted him with Star Surges, trying to see if he can get caught, I guess get caught in the wall for a second. And Krom can't tell what abilities he's using, but he's definitely using something. Just the toy covers a lot of it. Big roar by Kata. And Krom looked like he was DC'd for a second, but I think he was just expecting for that roar to last longer than he wanted. And it looks like he just de he looks like he bailed. Looks like he was done. I think he literally went in all in to try to see if he could take down Kata. Could do it, bowed out. So we should honestly give that one to Kata, in my opinion. That should be a Kata kill right there, dude. That should be. But Kragar coming back as a Fury Warrior, dude. Against Paladins out of all the classes to throw him at.